Welcome to Washington Exec's video series. I'm Amanda Zieta, Senior Writer with Washington Exec, and today I'm joined by Todd Weber, CEO of Software AG Government Solutions. Thank you so much for joining me today, Todd. Happy to be here, Amanda. Thanks for having me. Of course. So today we're talking about Software AG's Government Integration Hub, and specifically how it's being used across federal, state, and local government. Uh, Todd, I wanted to first ask if you can briefly describe to viewers what Software AG's Government Innovation Hub is and how it's being used. Sure. Um, so our Government Integration Hub is based on our Web Methods platform. Uh, Web Methods is the, the global leading platform for integrating vast numbers of disparate systems together and bringing that data together in real time. And so um, we, we believe uh, with all of the use uh, of our uh, web methods platform across the government, that there was a specific need to apply this technology to some of the uh, emerging COVID uh, problems that we see in terms of ag aggregating data. So we created this uh, platform. It's uh, up and running on the Microsoft Azure platform. Uh, it's available for use for any, any uh, government or commercial industry that might want to uh, help get in and, and address the the, uh, the the global pandemic, and so um, we're hoping that it can help. Uh, we think there's a, a lot of of need to um, bring data sets together from disparate systems today that can help uh, expedite um, you know a solution to the pandemic. And and today the the web methods platform itself is being used in a in a wide variety of uh, federal, state, and local uh, agencies. Uh, just as an example, the the IRS uses us um, as their backbone for integrating all of their different uh, systems and, and they're at the core of their modernization efforts. Um, the U.S. Navy uh, integrates about uh, 75 different systems into their big SAP deployment. So pulling financial information out and whatnot is another uh, good use at the federal level. All right. Yeah, I wanted to briefly ask if you could expand a little bit on why Software AG uh, saw a need in the industry for this platform and government and how you've seen needs or the needs of any government customers change or intensify during the pandemic? Well, if, if you look at, the, at the, 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 um, the world on a global basis, we're certainly connected, right? I mean, all of us have access to uh, information on a pretty regular, um, uh, regular basis as we need it. However, there's a lot of data that's stored off into siloed systems uh, or it's in proprietary systems out there. And when you look at, at the um, global pandemic, uh, if you look at, at some of the early things that we saw in, in terms of supply chain requirements around PPE, um, you know, and getting things to the right places where there were hotspots, uh, th there's a challenge in, in getting all of that necessary data from all those different systems that aren't necessarily connected together. So while we are connected, personally and individually um, through the internet and whatnot, oftentimes we see data that is needed being locked into different systems. Mm -hmm. And that is really our forte. Um, th that's the forte of, of, of web methods uh, in being able to get in and unlock the data in those systems and bring it together at an extremely large scale. So when you look at the web methods platform, you find it being used in massive, massive applications. Um, uh, some of the largest banks in the world um, use it to connect all their different systems together. And when you're standing at that ATM, give you an instant response uh, on a financial transaction, for example. So when we apply that kind of technology to uh, the need to get real-time data um, to fight the global pandemic, um, I mentioned the, the supply chain uh, issues, but if you look at, at um, uh, some of the contract tracing uh, challenges that are now being uh, talked about, uh, a lot of the data that's needed to do effective contact tracing is locked away in other systems. Uh, it, you know, systems that, you know, whether it's a driver's license and home addresses, uh, e even ultimately getting into some of the uh, healthcare records and things to expedite that, that contact tracing, you've got to be able to unlock the data in these siloed systems and bring it together in real time uh, to, to be effective. That's our, our view of it and, and what we want to bring to the to the world today to help uh, help with that um, uh, that resolution. Right. Yeah, and how is the government integration hub being prepared so far for COVID-19 emergency response? Well, there's a number of, I mentioned a couple of federal agencies. Uh, there's a number of state agencies that already use the technology today. Um, they, you know, we've, we've seen the technology applied to things like the opioid crisis that, that predated the pandemic um, uh, arena. Uh, the Pennsylvania Justice Network is a good example of uh, a, an incredibly integrated uh, set of systems in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania 
um, that are used to track um, all kinds of, of data and, and health-related data um, to the to the opioid crisis, um, where they can track uh, outbreaks or track history or get access to information about individuals and and um, even tracking down to, um, as I understand it, you know there, there are markers in some of these um, uh, drugs that are that are abused on the opioid front, and so they can track down to um, that level uh, of information to figure out, okay, this there's a little cluster here or an outbreak. Um, uh, of a certain um, uh, marker in, in the opioid drug that's being abused, and then they may be able to help expedite the tracking of where that came from and resolve it. So we see that in Pennsylvania, um, Santa Clara County, uh, right in the heart of Silicon Valley, is a, is a big user of uh, the government integration hub and our web methods platform. Um, they're connecting integrated justice and first responder information together. Uh, so uh, again, we, we see the elements of that starting to um, uh, to broaden as as the government looks, at, and really as as the global world looks at, at trying to come up with a uh, solution to this pandemic. So we're, we're even hoping that we can get into some of the um, uh, research information going on for vaccines and whatnot, and just help people get access to the information that they can't otherwise get to. You know, that's what we're really trying to do. Wonderful. Well, we're certainly keeping track of uh, the success of the government integration hub going forward. And of course, it's, it's helped with the response. So thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks again for having me. Of course.